G'day everyone, Viv here from Knights of Dice in Melbourne. I hope you're all keeping well. Wanted to film a very quick video about the new city walls that we're releasing into the Curse of Asteria range. In fact, they're already live on the website. But um, thought we'd have a quick video because you know you get to see a little bit more rather than you know just images. So what we've got set up here is a commission that we're actually doing for one of our customers. Um, it's almost three foot by three foot. Um, the wall sections, these wall sections here, come in six, nine, and twelve inch sections. There's also 12 inch sections for these little narrow stairs. There's both a left sweep and a right sweep, so stairs going up this way and stairs coming back up the other way. There are also 12 inch sections. And then a double staircase at the back there that leads up, that's also a 12 inch section. The towers are not six inches square. When we made the six inches square, it was just so huge, it looked completely out of proportion and very, very weird. So, you know, you've got 12 inches here, 12 inches and 24. These two towers don't equal 12 inches. They're a little over four and a half inches uh, square uh, or wide. Um, yeah, square, I suppose. So it's not completely three foot along, um, but just from an aesthetics perspective, it just looked better like this. Um, there's some little six inch sections there, two six inch sections and a 12 inch gatehouse. The gatehouse has a portcullis in it and doors. That opens from the top up here. You can take this little piece out. And inside here is a little portcullis piece. This will just slide out, which allows you to open up the portcullis. And then the doors will also open up. So you can have those open and the portcullis removed if you want. Or, you know, you can put that back in. None of the roofs on this, on these models come apart. You know, they're purely just for line of sight blocking and, and you know, structures. There's no extra levels inside these towers or anything like that. I've got a couple of World War II miniatures because they were the closest ones at hand, some American uh, infantry set up on the towers. So you can kind of see the scale uh, of them better than you can a picture. Um, I think this space up here is six and a half inches wide, um, so plenty of room to get miniatures on bigger bases in there. Um, and then the client wanted a couple of, of the buildings from the Curse of Asteria range, the little shrine and the watch house. Um, so there we go, there's a very quick look at the new city walls for Curse of Asteria. Oh, before we go, one thing. The, there's also a set of door pads. You will notice there's no doors on anything. So we, instead of putting doors on the towers and having to worry about where the doors would line up, and then you can put this any way you want, we've kept all the doors separate. Um, and there are two pieces, a 1.8 and a 3mm piece, so you can see you get that little lip. And they'll just blue tack onto wherever you want them to be blue tacked onto. You know, you might want a little door on the outside here, or, you know, maybe inside the stairs, you know, put one in that little panel there or something, or... Um, let's pretend this was the inside of the wall and you know, maybe I want one sitting in here so I can have troops going into the, um, the the walls so to speak so there's also a pack of doors that you can uh, optionally buy as well if you want to decorate out the the castle with doors I'd recommend you blue tack them on because that way you can move them around but you glue them if you want so there we go there's a quick look at the curse of Asteria city walls so just to finish up, you know, this set that we've got here on this table, you know, the three foot by three foot, that's not quite a three foot um, castle. All of the walls, not including the buildings in the middle, you know, probably has a retail value of around $330. Um, and I think then there's a discount on that. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to check the website. But, uh, you know, it's not a bad deal for, you know, a reasonably big uh, castle or city walls. It's not really a castle. You know, it's the city wall sections that we wanted to make. Uh, looking forward to doing more things in these range, in this range, so keep your eyes peeled. Thanks again for tuning in. Thanks for all your support, and I'll see you next time. Bye.